So what are the main types of lighting that we use in a home? Hi everyone, it's Carol from Discover Interior Design and I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you four main types of lighting that we use in our home and examples of each type so that you can think about how we use lighting for both function and beauty. So let's get started. So when we're talking about artificial lighting, you know, artificial lighting really provides a really basic function. So at night, it lets us have plenty of light in our home. But in addition just to providing a nice basic function, it also adds beauty to our home and helps to create layers of different things to look at in our space. And as a really important part of creating a room, creating a home that looks and feels good. And when we're thinking about lighting for our home, we want to kind of stand back and think about different types or categories of lighting so that we are using the right type of lighting to support a specific type of function. And sometimes different types of lighting will provide different types of function. There's some overlap there. And sometimes in our home, we may not have all of these different types of lighting in a room. So it really depends on the room and what the goals are of that room. And there are four main categories or types of lighting that we think about when we are talking about artificial lighting for our home. So let's take a look at each of those. So the first type of lighting that we're gonna think about is just what's called ambient lighting. And another way to describe that is overall or general lighting in a room. And that's where we just wanna make sure that we see everything really well, or that there's just this nice general overall lighting that lights up a room just enough so that we're comfortable and we enjoy the space. And overall lighting will vary on how bright and light that will be, depending on the function of that room. So for instance, a kitchen in general will have more brighter, lighter overall lighting compared to maybe a living room where we don't need all of that light and bright light. And then there are many examples of different types of lighting that provide overall lighting. One of them could be a desk lamp or a floor lamp in a living room or in a bedroom. Another example of overall lighting would be maybe recessed cans in the ceiling where that light from those recessed lights in the ceiling kind of filter out into the room and provide an overall general lighting for the room. Even lighting that we may consider to be decorative lighting, say lighting that you would have in your bathroom and over your bathroom vanity, and it's kind of decorative and it adds to the style of that room. Well, that light is still providing some overall lighting to the room. And another example of overall lighting would be if you have a surface mounted light in your ceiling. So that would be, you know, a light that is placed right up against the ceiling or even a light that would be a pendant light hanging down from your ceiling. And both of those types of lighting provide overall general lighting. Think of walking into an entryway or into a bedroom. And if you have a surface mounted or a pendant light that's in the center of the room, that's a really good example of a light that provides some overall ambient lighting. And another type of lighting that provides overall lighting, we could even think about track lighting, where you know maybe you have that hanging down from your ceiling and maybe it's shining onto a wall or maybe just shining out into the room. That's helping to provide some overall lighting for the room as well. And then the next three categories of lighting that we're gonna talk about are what we add to the room, where we're thinking about adding even more light and it's providing different functions and it's also adding another layer of light to a room. So one example of that would be what we call task lighting. And that's where we have overall lighting in a room, 
but we are going to need even more lighting for a specific task. So think of maybe you have a chair where you like to read books and you want to make sure that you can see the book really well. And that's where you'd want to have a task type of light so that you can see everything really well. And that could be anything from a table lamp or a little floor lamp, anything that would help you just to see that book that you're reading. And sometimes that task lighting can be very focused or sometimes more spread out. And when we're talking about a type of lighting that would be very focused would be maybe a table lamp that you have on your home office desk where it has a shade that is focusing that light down onto your paperwork so you can see that very well. But then on the other side of that, maybe you have a kitchen where you have under cabinet lighting and we don't see that lighting, it's kind of hidden. But what we do see is the light that it's providing. And that can be kind of this overall lighting, you know, this nice spread of lighting that's up on the backsplash and on your counters. And it provides kind of this overall lighting, but it also helps us to carry out a task such as chopping up vegetables or preparing a lunch so that we can see everything really well. And then there are other types of lighting that we could consider task lighting that maybe are a little bit softer and not so focused. So we can think of maybe a chandelier or a pendant light over a kitchen table or over a dining room table. And they are providing some overall lighting to the room, but they're also helping us to see the table and you know the nice food and the nice dinnerware that we have out so that we can see everything really well. And then a third type of lighting that we can add into a room in addition to overall lighting is decorative lighting. In addition to providing overall lighting to a room or an area in a room, decorative lighting is where we really bring in our design style and it becomes part of the decor and the style and design of a room. So we can think of a dining room chandelier and that's where we would choose a chandelier that matches our design style. That makes sense with how we decorate our home. And at the same time, it's providing some overall lighting and maybe even a little bit of task lighting to help us see the dining room table really well. And in addition to that, it looks beautiful and it becomes a very important part of the interior design and the style of that dining room area. You know, the opposite of decorative lighting would be maybe under cabinet lighting. That's where we don't see that lighting. We don't see the light bulbs or the light fixture itself. And all we want from that is just the lighting itself. Whereas in decorative lighting, we want to see the light fixture because that's part of the design. That's part of our style. And it reflects how we want that room to look and feel as well as providing the function of lighting an area. Another example of decorative lighting would be in an entryway where maybe you have a surface mounted or a pendant light hanging down from your ceiling and that's where you'd want to add your style and have something really beautiful to look at. Another example of decorative lighting would be your vanity lights over your bathroom vanity and that would be where it's providing some overall lighting to that area, but at the same time, it's expressing your design style and it's helping to create a beautiful space. And say for instance, you have an open concept room and there are different functions that are happening in that room. That's where you could see examples of decorative lighting and that could be pendant lights over a kitchen island or a chandelier over a dining room table, or even the table lamps that are on your side tables. Or maybe you even have sconces 
at a fireplace. All of those are examples of decorative lighting, lighting that contributes to the overall lighting of a room, but is part of the decor and is part of the design of that space to help bring beauty to that area. And the fourth type of lighting that we think about when we wanna add even more types of lighting into a room is what we call accent lighting. And accent lighting is about emphasizing something, bringing attention to an element in the room. So a good example of that would be, say you have a row of artwork or even one just large painting and you have track lighting or even a recessed type of light fixture that you can pivot to spotlight that artwork. That's what we would consider an accent light where it's really giving emphasis to that artwork so we can really see the artwork really well. So that's an example of where it's very focused and very directed towards a certain area. Another type of accent lighting would be where it's more spread out, but it's still drawing attention to something in the room. And an example of that would be cove lighting, where it's inside a cove in the ceiling and it's providing some overall spread out light so that we can notice the beauty of that beautiful ceiling and all the details that are going into the design of that ceiling. So knowing about the different types of lighting that we use in a room is important to help us create a room that is both beautiful and functional. So just keep that in mind when you are adding lighting to a room or when you want to create a room that maybe functions a little bit better. And just think of those different types of lighting to help you create the look and feel that you're going for. So I'd love for you to take a moment in your busy day and take notice of the lighting in your home and see if you can identify what are the different functions and types of lighting that are happening even in just one room and see if you can identify lighting that's providing overall lighting or task lighting, decorative lighting and accent lighting, or maybe they are providing all four types of lighting. So just kind of have some fun noticing that and share what you find out in the comments. And if you have anything else that you'd like to add to this conversation about lighting for our homes, please share your design ideas and suggestions in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.